Okay, so now uh, let's uh, see how we can place an implant. So you will see it's uh, very, very simple. Um, now that we have uh, checked our panoramic, I can simply have uh, this option on or also click on this icon here. And um, what will happen is my view will change. So I, I personally don't like to have the, the 3D view because uh, Mm, it tends to uh, demand a lot of capacity from my PC so what I will do is I, I will remove it uh, there like this and to be sure it doesn't uh, bother us and, and I have a, a PC that is running as fast as I uh, as possible so uh, we are going to place an implant like that uh, I'm not an implantologist myself uh, but uh, it's just to, so that you get the point First thing is to uh, change the angle in order to match the angle of what would be the orientation of the implant. And uh, here I got, I can uh, change again uh, to the view, zoom out exactly. And uh, so I have, I know that this is going to be the center line to my, uh, uh, of my implant. So this is the view. I should be working on. Now you have two possibilities. You can add directly the implant on this view or in any view that you want uh, or uh, in this one. The good news is that whatever we will do uh, we can change it afterwards. So let's click on add and uh, the first thing we need to click on is the crest. So um, yeah, I was about to make it here but uh, at the end I changed my mind I'm going to make it here because then I have a better visualization of what's the the mandibular canal. So first click it should be on the crest. This is it. And then here you have your module that you can simply uh, check for the right length. Of course you can uh, select for example uh, a length uh, of tens of millimeters and you can spend some time trying to get the right uh, dimension. What I suggest is simply get the orientation right which is basically what we're looking uh, right now. Let's say yeah, Let's do it like this. I click and of course here we have a situation that is a little bit uh, non-real. Why is that? Because our implant is uh, 24 millimeters. So here I can simply click once and I can change to 11 and uh, I did enter and uh, there you go, you get a, your implant that is uh, um, smaller and uh, of course you can uh, select here as well uh, a, sp a smaller dimension. So oh, there and I click 4 and there you see the, the cone shape of the of the implant that is starting. So looking good but my orientation and uh, of course I did it on purpose is n still not right so I can simply uh, come here and uh, change it. If I want to be more precise uh, I can apply, you can see that here the icons that used to be useful for the views now are now dedicated for uh, implants and in my view I can simply uh, turn degree by degree or uh, move them uh, on a, a close to uh, below millimeter uh, precision so like this I can get uh, maximum precision for my uh, my implant let's uh, say it's uh, my, my position is right I can simply check that uh, I'm not touching uh, the nerve which is good. Uh, I can of course uh, change the color uh, as uh, uh, we had before uh, you can also change the name uh, we don't manufacture implants of course you can have the info this is quite useful when we are going to print out uh, the report and uh, if you want to see the center line just to be sure especially when you put several um, implants together you want to see that there there is no offset in angle between uh, one implant to the to the other so um, uh, once you're done then uh, you can simply 
lock it. So that means that now I cannot uh, change the angle and this is also especially useful when you put several implants uh, because then you you want to be sure that you're actually uh, modifying the settings on one implant and not uh, the other. Uh, and again if you get too many implants in your view bam, you click on hide and uh, you cannot see it anymore you still st see the center line but not uh, the implant uh, that means that then you don't have any obtrusive elements uh, to place the next one and uh, uh, if you want to place the next one well, uh, or select uh, back again to see it you come here in this list of course if you have more implants you will get uh, all the different names and um, and then you can uh, simply uh, unhide it so uh, that's it that's it for the implants it's quite simple as you can see uh, oh, just last thing of course uh, 3d you can see the the implant uh, in 3d uh, here it is uh, i can remove i can hide the scout views and here you go you get your nice implants and let's remove the center line there you get a nice implants and there you see uh, you see that in 3D. By the way, 3D it's a nice uh, way to show to your patient um, and to explain to your patient because of course uh, a panoramic view uh, doesn't speak to to a patient. At least a 3D view enables him to understand very clearly what uh, what is going to be the the pr procedure ahead. That's it for now. See you in next uh, chapter.